there's been a collision. Uh, we're also feeling very sorry for this catamaran over here. Right there. Okay, we are taking a little detour out of Cologne and we're gonna be heading to Bocas del Toro for some relaxation uh, while we wait to transit the Panama Canal. We've got some things that we have to do. We can't go through the canal right away, so we thought we would take this week and go explore some of the Caribbean side of Panama before we go through the canal and head across the Pacific. Okay, apparently this is quite controversial, but I've got it all figured out. So we're going to go to Isla Zapatia, and from there Bruno's going to fly to catch on Saturday, Sunday morning, and so we're just going to take the rib from there to uh, Bocas del Toro, and then she's going to fly out. Apparently that's difficult to comprehend for some people. I believe in you. Yeah, see? I think it's gonna work. I think, yeah, two people believe that it's gonna work. <laughs> Stay tuned for the <laughs> aftermath video of Bruna crying because she's stuck with us for Good another few cross. days. Just pulling into Bocas del Toro, a little island called Zapatia. It's uh, hot. It's 11:30 in the morning. Wow, he's huge. All right, we're good. It was just stuck on there. Let me see. Let me see. Wow, look at him. <gasps> Can't really see it on camera, yeah. but there's a stingray in there. Oh my god. We have arrived in paradise. Okay. All right, aces are gone, pairs. Pairs means two cars of the same number. <laughs> no, no. Change the name to Chicky Joker. Can I just confirm? The loser drinks that, wears that, and makes a round of drinks. That's, That's a lot. Throw away your aces. Someone must have an ace. That's the whole point of the game. You just lose. Or not on, me, on someone else. We're still in the game. Can we turn off the Christmas music? Oh, Bruna! Bruna, Bruna, Bruna! Put the hat on. Do your new trick while wearing the hat. While wearing the hat. Ah. The cheeky joker. Oh no. Ah, Comes on strike. I love the game. And uh, what's your punishment? I have no idea why I've well, got a cards in this thing and I have no idea what will change. And? I have no idea. Yeah, it's what else? Right? Backflip in the pineapple crown. Where are they? Okay, yeah. let's this was a card game invented by Ryan. It doesn't have a name, but right now it's being called the Cheeky Joker. Why don't we take it off if you feel uncomfortable? Oh, here, give me that. Alright. What's important is the backflip, really. Yes. Okay, let's do it. I'm ready. All right. Oh! Yes! <laughs> well done. I don't know if she made it all the way over, but that was a pretty good effort. Are you okay? Today I learned two things. How to do backflips on the day of the week. <laughs> Love it. I don't I don't know if I can impress upon you how difficult it is to get seven people to go in any one direction at the same time. But 
we started this process of going to the beach, going to the beach. An hour ago. Um, about an hour ago. Uh, but this is post a few card games, post a few drinks. Do we need to bring the cats with us? <laughs> yes, <laughs> the cats should come to the beach with us. <laughs> Charlie, yeah, wake up. Charlie, you coming? Oh, side two mooring. Oh my god! I actually got that yes. on camera. <laughs> sunburned, a little bit hungover, and uh, we're now pushing off on our way to Isla Bastimentos because we're going to be dropping Bruna off to say goodbye to her. She's going to be heading off to the airport to go back to Brazil. She will not be coming on our Pacific Crossing with us, but she's been with us since we left St. Martin, and it's been wonderful having her on board, but now we have to say goodbye. places that I would probably have to take like four flights to get there, there you know to those places it's crazy how different all this, those places are it's just like in two days of sailing you are like in a completely different place and they're all insanely beautiful I feel so grateful for everything so now I'm going back to Sao Paulo Brazil and I could be sad but not, actually I'm not sad because I feel like I'm stronger to deal with the city situations. Live there for a while and then get ready for the next adventure. Yeah, that's how I feel. Hurrah! Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Just take it home, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously a local thing. Jesus, how many times are they gonna go around? Is this like a NASCAR race where they're just hoping the engines will die at some point? I think we should enter bananas in the race. See if these dinghies can t overtake them. Think bananas would be faster? It's obviously a one class race. There's been a collision. Uh, we're also feeling very sorry for this catamaran over here. Right there. As you can see, when they start coming around the turn, they're cutting around this catamaran inside and outside. <laughs> no, that's not a good place to be angered. Today is a holiday in Panama, Labor Day, I guess, which explains why everyone was racing their boats around and partying yesterday, but we have found a place that will rent us some bicycles, so we're going to go off and explore this place that Fred and Renee told us about, 
uh, a plastic village, a village of houses made out of plastic bottles. That's all I really know about that. We're gonna go check it out, get some exercise, see how fast we can dehydrate in the sun, and then go visit Fred and Renee. Hi. No. from Renee and Fred yesterday was that there was this guy who wanted to build an island out of plastic bottles uh, but then he got worried that if the island started to break apart he would be creating more garbage in the ocean instead of recycling it all which is what he wanted so instead he decided to make houses out of plastic bottles and that is what we're going to see of why we are cycling up this hill in the midday heat in the middle of Panama to go see a village of houses made of plastic bottles. It better be good. We have arrived to the plastic bottle village. All right, should we go see what's going on inside? We're entering into a plastic house. But it is all stuccoed and stuff inside. All right, I'm curious about this plastic castle. It's it kind of cool. It is. Cool to see how the local people are trying to solve their issue with garbage because the, a lot of these islands they collect so much garbage and they don't know what to do with it. It's all about sustainable living and building these houses out of plastic bottles um, and recycling in a new and different way. There's a plastic interior. Yeah. The next job is to find an air conditioner or a pool or a water slide. Or just like a large bucket of ice. <laughs> we found you without getting too lost. Oops. We lost Gemma. I thought you were right behind us when we pulled into the yellow wall. We saw you go fly by. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Good thing we, good thing Lance knows how to whistle really loudly. Bottle caps? Yeah. I'm working on a project. That's so cool. <laughs> What a view! I had a whole nother bag and was not in the yeah. zip lock. Wow, you guys! Oh, I've got my ice water in the room, you know. Oh, oh. Yeah. Water, cold beer. A cold beer would be. I could do with the water. This view! Wow, wow this is just stunning. It's all here. So Renee and Fred knew our crew member Lance because they lived in St. John with him and uh, they had worked together at some point. So Lance was excited to catch up with them here in their new home in Panama. 
and they've been so kind to show us around, invite us into their home, feed us all of their fresh coconut and mango. And uh, it's been interesting to see how people make their choices about where they want to live. And uh, they decided St. John didn't have what they wanted anymore, so they moved on to Panama and they found what they wanted here in Boca del Toro. Even though we want to travel, I really want to live here. You know, I mean, I really like it here. And there's, what, 42 different nationalities or something that live mm. all amongst here. And it just is, I don't know, it seems more laid back, more more what we're looking for, you know. St. John, you buy a bag of groceries and you come out of there and it's 40 bucks. Here, it's four bucks. You know, it's totally different. I mean, we yeah. ride, we don't have a car, we ride a bike. We ride bikes into town, we ride bikes to the beach. It's cool. At, at your age, you know, you, you say, oh, well, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm 30, I'm 25, whatever, you know. The next time you turn around, you're 40. And then the next time you turn around, you're 55. You know? And then the next time you're 65 and you say, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, so it's, well, you never, right, it you goes never regret by. what you do, it right? Goes you by. what you didn't yeah, do. That's so right. That's, that's why right. it's so great that you guys are off having this adventure. I yeah. think that's incredible. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. We definitely had an amazing time. Uh, if you'd like to know the rules for Cheeky Joker, make sure you write a comment to Ryan below. Uh, depending on who it is, the rules will all be different as you might be able to tell in the game. Uh, if you haven't already, click subscribe. Uh, check us out on Instagram under Chase the Story. We always put up amazing photos wherever we are. And watch out for the next Bocas del Toro video because it's going to be amazing. <laughs> okay. Again. 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 That's good.